Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I went from this to this all before lunch. Please like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of our future content. Welcome to Anderson Lane. Let's start off with our material list. First you're going to need a wood board, white paint, various paint brushes for the painting of the board and for your letters, black and white acrylic paint, printable that is linked down below, pencils, a black sharpie marker, distressing tools like a hammer, screwdriver, putty knife, whatever you have, hot glue gun and glue, a wreath form, foliage and ribbon of your choice, and 180 grit sandpaper. First of all I have just a piece of wood. We had some extra scraps in the garage. It's four and a half feet long. Step one, distressing your wood. First, we're gonna start off with a nice clean board. We are going to distress this board. So let's go get the hammer and some screwdrivers and see what we can do. And we're just gonna take the board and just kind of do whatever with it. So we get little marks in the wood. Don't worry, you're not ruining your project. This just makes it unique. Step two, paint your board. This is what it looks like. You can see our little distress marks in it. Step three, making your wreath. Since we have an hour for paint to dry on, our board, we are going to start with our wreath. I want to start off by wrapping this. So we're just gonna start and we're gonna cover our wreath. Put that down so it stays and start wrapping. Just keep going like this, overlapping all the way around. Make sure that it is nice and securely fastened. Now the fun part, we get to add the flowers. So at this point, take your wire cutters and cut off your foliage from the wires and then you want to place them where you think that you want them to go before you glue them. I think that's what we'll go with. So now let's glue it. While gluing, make sure that you start with the bottom layer first and then go up so it's a kind of a backwards way to do it. There we go. Our cute little wreath. So even if you don't want to do the whole board, you could totally make a cute little wreath. Step four, creating your stencil. So click on the link in the description. It will take you to my blog site and then you can open the document. Make sure to print, not changing the margins, otherwise your letters will be too small. Once your letters are printed out, you need to turn them over so that the printed side is face the table. Then you're going to scribble all the way across, covering all of the letter in the pencil lead. You need to do this with all three of your letters, making sure you get all of the edges completely covered. And you may need more than one pencil or make sure you have a pencil sharpener handy. Now that all of our letters are done, it's time to move on to the next step. Steps five and six, transferring your letters. So before I trace onto them, I want to make sure that I lay them out and find the spacing that I want that works best for the sign. So I think that looks good. Let's get on to the stencil. Okay, now it's time to watch the magic happen. You turn your letters over. I just marked mine on the edges with a little pencil mark so I knew exactly where I wanted them. Put them down, take your pencil, and go over the outline. Pushing fairly hard. Okay, it's time for the reveal. E R H. Now let's do the other letters. Now I have all my letters stenciled out. Now we go over them with a marker. Or you can just paint them. Step seven and eight, painting your letters. Before we get to painting our letters, I want to go over my sign with the marker just to make the lines a little more defined and easier to paint. Okay, now it's time to paint. I am just using some craft acrylic paint to paint them on here. I'm going to go around the edges with the finer brush and then just paint 
rest of it after. Okay, now we just finish the other letters. Okay guys, now we really are almost done. Step nine, distressing your letters. I'm using a 180 grit sandpaper. It's a light grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna lightly go over my letters. That M looks wonderful, I love it. Step 10, attaching your wreath. Now normally I would probably use E6000. Today I'm just gonna use hot glue. So we are going to get a bunch of glue. Voila, our sign is done. Okay guys, that is it for our tutorial. If you like this video, please like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of our future content. We'd love to have you around our channel and get to know you better. We'll see you again next time. Bye.